everybody, it's tutorial time and today's look is kind of a springy look because I feel like I'm using some sort of spring-like shades but we're incorporating color in kind of a sneaky way. I remember doing this on the news sometimes. It was like I didn't want to wear super bright colors that would distract from what I was saying but yet for my own entertainment I wanted to work in color in small ways and so one way we're doing that is with you know a little bit of really blended out uh, deep plum in the crease and then on the lower lash line we've got a really fun color there as well. And this is using the Romantic Eye Palette. I've had requests for a tutorial ever since I started raving about this in my haul video. And this uh, was also named as one of my top Too Faced palettes in that other video I did recently. And I just so enjoy the color variety in this palette, how easy everything is to blend. Um, this has been on the market for at least a couple years now, but I just recently picked it up not too long ago, and I am just enjoying it so much. So I want to show you one of my favorite looks using this palette. So I've just applied an eye primer all over my lid and I'm gonna start off with this shade called Soulmates. It's a really gorgeous shimmery color. Um, just using a small like detail type brush, a little angled brush can get you right in here where you want to be. And I'm just gonna take that right around the tear duct for some brightness. Then I'm taking that same shade with a larger brush and I'm just applying this on the inner third of my eyelid. And I'm moving on to Cut the Cake. It's a really pretty lavender shade with a little bit of shimmer. And that's gonna go all over my lid. Um, think about kind of overlapping some of that white. And then we will overlap this shade a little bit more in a second with a deeper plum. And the two shades layered just look really great, I think. Next, I wanna create some really subtle contrast in the crease. So I'm using this shade here. It's like a matte, very soft gray called I Do. I'm using this brush from NYX. It says small eyeshadow brush for smoky eyes. And it's just really nice for, you know, getting wedging right into your crease. And as you can see, I'm starting all the way in here, and it's not a deep shade at all, but you find that it does really, you know, give you a very soft shadow here, and kind of a nice base to get on there before we work in the deeper plum. I've done some really light looks with this palette where this was just kind of blended out really softly in the crease, and that's a good stopping point for a natural look. Next we're using First Dance and this is an awesome matte plum color and I'm using a smallish flat brush that gives me a lot of control with where I'm putting this shade. So what I want to start with is getting some of this right here on the outer part of my lid and with that overlapping you see more of the purple come through this shade when you're going over the lilac so I love that you know this can go from something that's very deep on the eyes almost looks black to something like this right here where you're seeing more purple come through then I'm using that same shade with a really small crease brush. Um, you could use something like that NYX one that I had used with the gray if you want to. This is maybe even a little smaller than that. But this little crease brush from Essence of Beauty is really handy. You can get a duo of these from CVS, but it's really great for getting like the deepest part of your shadow exactly where you want it, right there in your crease. Larger brushes are great for a more diffused look but when you're really thinking about placement with a look, which is what this is all about, um, you want that darkness right where your eye recedes the most. So this can get you to that point. And as you can see, I can very easily shape the shadow outward just a little bit. Shadow is definitely extending out past the eye. And then I'm gonna go in with just a bare Sigma E40 brush, anything fluffy that you got and just kind of go back and forth right over the edge there to soften it out. Right up in this area, I really want to soften that edge even further, so I'm going to go to this light matte pink and drop my palette. <laughs> it's all good, everything survived. <laughs> that shade's called Kiss the Bride. Just take it lightly above um, where your purple ends. I don't like to do too much overlapping because I think it lightens the purple more than I want. So just really try to keep it right on the border and then you'll get still a nice soft edge. Soft edge 
Kind of contradictory there, but you know what I mean, a blended edge. Then for the highlight, I'm using this matte color right here called Bokeh Toss. I want to show you, when I'm going into these shades, I am just going like that with my brushes, you know, just to get a little bit on there because it doesn't take much. These shades will show up with very little product actually placed on your eye, so... Love that. Next we're going to go to the upper liner and then that'll kind of help us blend down into our lower lash line part of the look. So I'm using my Milani iTech Extreme Liquid Liner. Just starting right here in your innermost corner. Sometimes I like to go just above, you know, my lash line and then really get in there and fill in as close to those lashes as humanly possible. We never want a liner gap. I'm kind of thickening it here as I get to the outer corner and extending it out. So drawing it out like straight in that direction. And then we're just forming a little triangle there. Then we're gonna fill in that triangle. And in a moment, wait for it, We've got a wing. For lower lash line, we're gonna kinda go dark to light. Um, starting off with a black liner. This is my M Cosmetics Black Knight Water Liner. Actually lasts a super long time in the water line, appropriately named. So I'm just gonna take that all the way in here. I'm also kind of drawing this on the skin here, just on the outside and making a little connection to that wing. Back to the shadow palette, angled liner brush, going to first dance, that's the plum. With this shade, I just wanna overlap that black liner that I just drew there on the outside. And something else kinda of cool that you can do to get an even more finished edge to your wing is very lightly use your angled liner brush that has a little bit of powder shadow on it. And you can just really lightly like flick it there on the outermost part of your wing. Then I want my green here to really pop as much as possible, but also have really good staying power. So I'm using this NYX liner in Green Papaya. It's a great spring green and just really brings out the green of the shadow also. So this uh, liner, I'm just going to go from my innermost corner, kind of hitting that pearly white shade, and then take it under the lower lash line and then just kind of underneath the black. Now using a smudge brush, we're going into Honeymoon. Probably the most shimmery shade in this palette. And this looks gorgeous all over the lid too, but I gotta tell you, I'm kind of attached to putting it here now. <laughs> Especially paired with that NYX liner. Good lord, this looks pretty. Love it. So just taking it all the way to the edge. But one thing that I think really pulls it all together is going back to a little bit more of the plum. Just use your smudge brush and just overlap that green. Make sure the green just looks like it's fading right in, you know? It's like it's making a grand entrance right here. So keep it a little dark on the outside. Next up, I'm just gonna curl my lashes real quick and apply mascara on my upper and lower lashes. I'm using my Red Cherry number 43 lashes here on the upper lash line. Um, just a really full, fluffy lash. I love it so much. Um, so I just kind of grab those in the center, line them up, apply them right on top of my eyeliner. Then I just let that glue dry and then sort of blot a little mascara there right down by the base of the lashes to make sure everything's connected. I also want to point out how everything kind of got pulled together as far as the blush and the lip color also. I'm wearing my Sleek Blush by 3 in Pink Lemonade and I'm just wearing this shade here. So I've got that on my cheeks and it's giving a great amount of glow there. So I think that really complements the look nicely as well as a pink lip that's not so bright that it's detracting from the eye makeup, but kind of like a natural pink, you know? And this is that new sculpting lipstick from Estee Lauder. It's the Pure Color Envy Lipstick in Impulsive. So I've got that on, and I just think it really um, goes nicely with the color scheme that's happening on the eyes. So thank you again, guys, so much for watching, for uh, taking an interest in this palette and this look from me. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!